going on, Megan here. Quick follow up on the testosterone series, the testosterone and fat loss series. I'm getting a lot of requests to keep this going, so here it is. Um, and remember, guys, the reason why I started this series is because people underestimate the power of testosterone when it comes to fat loss. Everyone knows testosterone as a muscle building hormone, but it's very, very underrated in terms of fat loss, and it is one of the most powerful fat loss hormones in the entire human body. You know, bar none. You know, the reason why when women you know, use steroids, they become insanely lean, you know, past what they're allowed to accomplish due to their genetics, you know? And there's also a reason why when people go on, you know, people in their 50s, 60s who have testosterone problems, there's a reason why when they go on hormone replacement therapy without training, without doing cardio, they put on lean mass and then they lose fat, you know? That's what made scientists begin to research the fat burning effects of testosterone because they were like, hey, man, you know, they're supposed to just put on muscle, not lose fat and you know it's a shame that a lot of people don't you know address this so you know if fact, you have people saying oh if you natty don't worry about your testosterone levels it's not gonna make a difference you know you know that's that's the biggest load of crap you know it's not gonna make a difference you know in terms of muscle size if you go from let's say 400 to 500 or whatever but it will make a difference you know in terms of fat loss and energy levels and things like that which ultimately lead to you know Muscle gains, based on how it affects your psychology. So, let's get straight to it. Quick recap. Remember, watch episode one, which was high testosterone, because I'm going to make different episodes based on the different effects it has on fat loss. Watch episode one, which is high testosterone speeds up fat loss by increasing the number of uh, beta adrenergic receptors. In short, it increases the amount of receptors that adrenaline can bind to. And remember, guys, adrenaline binds to... Uh, it's receptors in order to speed up fat loss. You know, adrenaline is one of the most powerful fat burning uh, hormones or neurotransmitters, whatever you want to call it. Remember, fat is stored in fat cells, right? Triglycerides. It's in this yellow circle here. What is fat made out of? That fat that's in, you know, under your belly, under your skin that you're trying to burn is simply a combination of fatty acids and glycerol. Glycerol comes from carbs mostly, and obviously fatty acids and fats. Put them together, you have triglycerides, which is the fat under your belly that you're so desperately trying to lose. In order for you to burn fat, remember the fat cell doesn't go away. The content of the fat cell, which is this, you know, right here, needs to be broken up. So the glycerol needs to be separated from the fatty acids. The glycerol will go to the liver, you know, and become glucose under most circumstances. And the fatty acids will go into the muscle cell to be burned, which is where the majority of your fat gets burned is in your muscle. So... This hormone here, along with a bunch of other, I mean, sorry, this enzyme here, along, along with his cousins and friends, speed up this uh, reaction. You know, hormone-sensitive lipase, you guys know, is one of the most popular fat-burning uh, enzymes because it separates those two so that fatty acids can be burned into the cell. Now, remember, in the body, one thing has to be activated by another, okay? Hormone-sensitive lipase has to be activated by a bunch of, you know, enzymes here you have cmp pka things like that and those enzymes must also be i mean those molecules must also be activated by adrenaline okay so the more adrenaline receptors you have right better adrenergic receptors the, the faster this process is going to go you know that's what testosterone does is it increases you know these guys and allows you to uh, speak you know lose fat a lot quicker but another thing that it does, which is what this episode focuses on, is it stops, mind you, this is a fat cell, right? And just like a muscle cell, you know, becomes bigger, the more satellite cells bind into it, a fat cell comes from what I call baby fat cells, right? We're not going to use a scientific name because we're trying to keep it simple. Baby fat cells eventually differentiate, you know, and multiply and become fat cells, right? So when you grow fat cells, they really come from baby fat cells. They become big fat cells, and then they begin to store fat, Okay testosterone comes in not only he's increasing the amount of adrenaline receptors that are going to speed up the emptying of these fat cells but testosterone stops this process here all right testosterone stops the baby fat cells from becoming fat cells which is amazing right that's a lot of people lose fat when they you know get on uh testosterone replacement therapy or when the t levels go up or when they go through puberty and things like that and you notice that your little brother is now leaner even though he doesn't do shit that explains it a lot Testosterone is stopping the formation of new fat cells. And not only that, it stops them from becoming fat cells, but it turns them into satellite cells. 
And if you guys remember, satellite cells are what, you know, fuse into the muscle cell and allow the muscle cell to become bigger by, do by donating nuclei. I've been talking about that for years, so you should know this by now if you watch my videos. So, testosterone has like so many fucking fat burning effects, you know, increasing these receptors, stopping fat cells from becoming, stopping baby fat cells from becoming big fat cells, and turning them into satellite cells, which lead to bigger muscles. You guys know bigger muscles mean more oxidation or burning of fatty acids along with the, you know, other benefits of having big muscles, right? So, trying to keep this uh, video short. Make sure you do your blood work, guys. If you're natty, don't let nobody tell you. It's usually steroid users who say that. They go, dog, you know, don't worry about your T levels if you're natty. No, your T levels are very important when you're natty. Do blood work. Check your testosterone levels. Check your body fat. In fact, I keep telling people that's the only reason why I go on these mini cuts. You guys know my goal is to be big as shit. You know, right now I'm 220. I'm trying to go as big as my body can naturally get. You know, but the reason I keep taking this mini cuts is because obviously the you know the more you bulk, the fatter you get also. So, but the reason I take this mini cuts is because the more fat I have, right, the more it affects my, my testosterone levels. You know, the more fat you have, the more your testosterone gets converted into estrogen. So I have to keep constantly, you know, every time I reach 220, I cut back down to 210. Then I go to 225, cut back to 215. I keep doing these mini cuts, not because I want to be lean. You guys know I, I will never go back to my lean days I, I hated those days but because i need to keep my hormone levels intact you know so do your blood work check your hormone levels or your, your testosterone levels and if you only have to check one one hormone it's testosterone especially if you're a guy all right so um hope this video helps stay tuned for the next uh, episode where i explain the other benefits of testosterone when it comes to fat loss uh, this, this is a lot more than you think all right guys hope this helps i'm out little segments so go to the comment section and just vote vote on what you think is your most requested uh topic and then obviously the one that has the most likes are the ones that are going to prioritize uh, in case let's